guys, my name is Manny, and today my topic is about stress. So there are only two times I feel stress, day and night. So what is stress? What causes it? And what can you do to get rid of it? So stress is a natural thing that happens either positive or negative. It all depends on how your body reacts to a specific event that's going on. Also, college students and teens have all been through stress, whether it's tuition, bills, midterms, and even finals. Stress happens as aging increases. And some of the few main points that I'm going to point out is that there are four types of stress, according to Grover Bravo, which it comes out actually in the radio. And I'm also going to mention a help guideline to help you guys through your stress or anything that you guys are struggling with. So first of all is social media. That's the first type of stress. Why? Because, well, obviously, you communicate with um, all people in the with other people in the world, um, either, I don't know, U US, New Mexico, uh, wherever. And also it, it causes a, like a big distraction towards what you wanna do, whether like in your daily life, like, oh, I have to go to work, but oh, let me just finish sending my friend a message, or let me do Instagram this, or whatever. I mean, the so social media has really affected um, the way people think also because, not only because it distracts you, but also because it's, like as technology comes out, like you, you wanna keep getting more technology and more technology and sometimes you rely on it so much that you, you even forget about what you have to do either that day or like, oh, I missed my interview for this job or I, I missed to go out, like go out with my friend just because of social media. So, and sometimes it becomes stressful that you rely on it so much that it just um, really disrupts your life. So. Friends is number two. It equals peer pressure. Why? Because sometimes your friends want you to do things that you don't want, whether it's to drink or to smoke, or whether even sometimes dress the way they they um the way they want to. So let's say you're wearing like some casual clothes and they're wearing like like Gucci or something, you know, and like it, it you don't you don't match with them. So sometimes your friends can also be a really stressful, stressful life, e even though like they might not be your friends actually. So you have to actually really um, think about having a good friend. School is also no number three. Why? Because you have to study, 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 always, always. And um, the finals, either midterms, or even registering for classes can be stressful because sometimes, first of all, like, you might not have priority, so that's already minus right there and if you have to register and wake up at 6 a.m. that's also really stressful and also getting all the classes that you need and graduating in four years can be really tough so also number fourth one I believe my, my family well not my family but family in general is can also be stressful I mean you might have good times with them you might go to a party or an event or I mean go to the park or something but I mean family is also stressful because you, you like rely on them so much that sometimes like I don't know it just uh, um go to that right now all right first medical guideline oh uh, for the family um sometimes like let's say you want a phone let's say you want this let's say you want that sometimes or sometimes your parents do not want you to go out with your friends because they're probably thinking, oh no, they're not good for you. Like they probably like imagining they're like all oh, cholo and stuff when they're not, you know. So sometimes very <laughs> stressful. It's very stressful that you can't go out and socialize with your friends. That's one of the points. Medical guidelines. So right here, as you can probably see, there's just some ideas of like whether you're driving or something, you might actually be stressed because like, oh, I need to get to my job or my boss is gonna fire me if I don't. And it's my first day to school or whatever, and. So page 11 basically explains just a few of the things that you can actually do to relieve stress. Like take a walk, go out, go outside, um, go um, t take a breath, you know. Um, also stretching is very good because it's like, well yoga is very powerful for you. Also taking a deep breath, like just, just pause for a second and just take three seconds and just breathe. That could also be very helpful for stress. Or you can also, the best way is to visualize. I mean, it's not just being there and just not doing nothing. You're actually doing something because you're calming down your body. So let me just a quick quiz, just uh, just to show you guys. 
So stress is usually thought of as a negative experience, but it cannot, it can be a positive one. What do you guys think? It is possible to eliminate stress. It's false. Well, why concern? Eliminating stress from life is not only impossible, it is unrealistic. Stress is always gonna be basically in your daily life, no matter what. For people prone to the negative effects of stress, stress management is important for physical and mental well-being. So just a little review, stress is a natural reaction, either positive or negative. <coughs> Media, friends, school, and family cannot be a cause of stress. So what you guys can do is basically just relax, take a break, or even meditate. Whether it could be with your friends so you won't feel alone, or it can actually be just by yourself and just close the door, lock the door, be in your room, and it should all be good. Or if none of this, none of this help, number one, it's always seek for how. You do not want to be stressful for like the whole day or the rest of your life. You always want to seek for help. Thank you.